I will explain Newton Grigory backward interpolation formula. So let x0, x1, x2, etc., xn be the values of an independent variable x. Let y0, y1, y2, etc., yn be the values of the function y equal to f of x at these values. And in this case, also assume that x values are equally spaced, equally spaced with step length h, with step length h, then the value for f of x at a desired value of x where x lies near to the nth value x lies near to xn nth value is given by this formula. Here f of x is equal to y of n plus r into this is backward delta yn or inverted delta yn plus r into r plus 1 by 2 factorial inverted delta square yn plus etc. And in this case r is x minus xn by h, x minus xn by h and also these terms they are known as backward differences. So in the newton Grigory forward interpolation formula instead of this term we had delta y0, delta square y0, delta cube y0 etc. But in case of backward interpolation formula, we have backward delta yn. yn is the last term and here we have y0 in forward interpolation that is the first term. And also here in backward interpolation formula, r is equal to x minus xn by h, last term by h. While in forward interpolation formula, we had written r is equal to x minus x0 by h. And also, in the forward interpolation formula, terms where r into r minus 1 by 2 factorial, here r into r minus 1, r minus 2 by 3 factorial, etc. But here we have, in backward case, we have r into r plus 1 by 2 factorial, r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 by 3 factorial, etc. Now, I will explain this backward differences. So consider these values for x, x0, x1, x2, x3. Suppose only 1, 2, 3, 4 values are there. And now consider y values like this, y0, y1, y2, y3. And here the meaning of difference is same. That means second term minus first term. So only the notation is different. Here y1 minus y0 that will be denoted by this symbol delta y1 inverted delta y1 and now second difference is y2 minus y1 that is inverted delta y2 and now last term is y3 minus y2 this is inverted delta y3 and now second difference second difference is differences of first differences. That means second term minus first term. So delta y2 minus delta y1. So this is denoted by delta square y2. And our next term is delta y3 minus delta, this is backward delta, delta y3 minus delta y2 that is denoted by backward delta square y3. So these are the second backward differences. The third backward differences that is they are the differences of these differences. So we can write it as delta cube backward delta cube y3 that is delta square y3 minus delta square y2. So now in case of backward interpolation formula 
and in case of uh, forward interpolation formula also difference uh, that table is same difference table is same but notation is different so now in this formula we need yn backward delta yn backward delta square yn like that that means they are the last terms in each column so you have to choose last terms in each column to substitute in the formula so then after completing this table you can write down substitute these forward backward differences and also you can calculate r by using the formula r is equal to x minus xn by h so always remember that we can use newton gregory backward formula as well as forward formula only if x values are equally spaced now i'll explain this one with the help of an example suppose this is the data given x values are given as 3 4 5 6 7 and y values are given as 7 11 16 22 and 21 suppose we have to find out the value for y of 8 that means this 8 is near to the last value in the table so then this 8 is close to xn so you can use backward interpolation formula and now i will demonstrate this example for evaluating interpolating polynomial also so first i will evaluate interpolating polynomial then using that interpolating polynomial i will evaluate the term y of 8 also so now first i will prepare the difference table that is x values are 3 4 5 6 7 y values 7 11 16 22 and 29 and our first backward differences backward differences so 11 minus 7 that is 4 and now see this is our y notch and this is our x notch and now the notation for this 4 is backward delta y1 this is y notch this is y1 this is y2 and y3 and this is our y4 and now next is difference between y2 and y1 so y2 minus y1 that will be denoted by backward delta y2 that is 5 and now backward delta y3 is 22 minus 16 that is 6 now backward delta y4 is equal to 29 minus 22 that is 7 and now next is second backward differences that is 5 minus 4 it is 1 so that will be denoted by delta square y2 that is 5 minus 4 it is 1 and now delta square y3 that is 6 minus 5 it is 1 and now delta square y4 that is 7 minus 6 it is 1 now third backward differences that is delta square y3 minus delta square y2 that is 0 and this term also 0 we are getting 0 so then you will be getting only two columns in our difference table now we can substitute in this formula now the formula is y n plus in this case y n means it is y4 so then y4 plus r into delta y n that means we have to substitute this 29 here and delta square y n means that is delta okay sorry this is delta y n is 7 okay this is our y n y n 29 delta y n 7 delta square y n that is 1 and now delta cube is 0 so in our formula we have only these many terms so now I will substitute these values here so you can write this as this is equal to now in this case yn means that is y4 that is 29 plus 
Now R is x minus xn by h. Now in this case, xn is last value in our table. This is our xn is 7. So you will get x minus 7 by h is difference between x values. So you can see they are equally spaced. 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6 like that. Therefore, h is 1. So r is equal to 1. So if you are substituting this term in this formula, you will get interpolating polynomial. So for this problem, I will be evaluating interpolating polynomial. So I will substitute this x minus 7 here. x minus 7 into delta y n that is 7 plus now x minus 7 into r into r plus 1 that is x minus 7 plus 1 that is x minus 6 by 2 factorial into delta square y n that is the last term into 1. So you can simplify this. You can multiply these polynomials. You can add all the terms and you will get the value like this x square plus x plus 2 by 2. This is known as interpolating polynomial. So now we can check whether this is a good fit for this one. You see x is equal to 3. So using this formula what is our f of 3? f of 3 means 3 square that is 9 plus 3 plus 2 by 2. So you will get it as Well, it is uh, f of 3 is 3 square plus this is 3. 3 square plus 3 that is 14 by 2 that is 7. So we have the same value here. So now similarly check f of 4. f of 4 is this is the formula in this formula. You substitute this 4 that is 16 plus 4 plus 2 by 2. You will get it as 11. You see the term? We have same term. And now f of 5, if you are verifying, you will get that value also as 16. So we will be getting exactly same data there. So this is a good fit actually. So this polynomial or this data can be represented by this polynomial also. Now using this interpolating polynomial, easily you can find out y8 or y6.5 or any value. So what will be our y h now? y h will be 8 square plus 8 plus 2 by 2. So you have to calculate the value. 74 by 2 that is 37. So 37 is the answer. So then while applying newton grigory backward formula, we have to verify two uh, conditions here. The first one is x values should be equally spaced. Also, we will be using backward interpolation formula only for finding value of y at a desired value of x where x lies near to the last value xn.